15 years before joining the military, Frank Hurst was just a kid when Pearl Harbor was attacked. When I was young, uh, I was a little over three years old and Pearl Harbor happened. And he says he remembers the years after the attack. I remember six and seven years old, out with my brothers and my sisters, going around, pulling a wagon, asking our neighbors for aluminum pots and pans for the war effort. Tonight's ceremony helps veterans like Frank honor the men and women that are not here to remember. We've been there. We've uh, actually, like some of it said, and bravery. When we went in and we joined, we essentially signed the commitment of our life to defend this country. And I think that we should be acknowledged and be supported. By looking at where the U.S. is 81 years later. We wouldn't be where we are today as Americans, as a society, if it weren't for the veterans from World War II, Pearl Harbor. I remember a lot about World War II and how things were. The next designated holiday to honor veterans is not until May, but every veteran I spoke to today says that veterans need to be recognized every day of the year. Reporting live in Fort Smith, Jacob Murphy, 4029 News.